Imagine for a minute that you're a rural Pakistani farmer. You have a couple of cows that provide you a constant stream of milk and calves that are gonna make up either your primary or secondary income source. Now imagine you wake up one morning and one of your cows is in heat. It's not worth it to keep a bull because they don't produce milk and calves, so you're gonna rely on a market for artificial insemination. You have to decide which vet you're gonna call for AI. If this is the United States, we'd go on any number of sites to look at ratings of different vets in our local area. This is exactly what we brought to rural Punjab, Pakistan. An information clearinghouse that crowdsources to citizens themselves the collection of information on the quality of local vets, aggregates this information to create vet ratings. They don't have smartphones yet. In most cases, they're not literate. So we had to build all of this around a call center. The main motivator here is asymmetric information between citizen principals and agents, leading to suboptimal outcomes. Middlemen and women essentially have more information about prices and use that to take advantage of farmers. Now one solution to these types of asymmetric information is monitoring, but monitoring is particularly costly. So crowdsourcing can cut out the infrastructure challenge costs. If someone has a cell phone, you can get a hold of them, you can collect information from them or provide them with information. It also spreads out where you're getting information from and who you're giving information to and makes it so that it's harder for the government employees or other folks to create bottlenecks. It's also an important sector for the country of Pakistan as a whole. Livestock agriculture accounts for about 12% of the GDP and it's growing pretty rapidly as a share of GDP. And artificial insemination is crucial to renewing livestock. We're taking what's called the short route of accountability here. We're cutting out all the middle bureaucracy. We're giving the information directly to the citizens themselves. AI success is only observed here with a delay of two months. So right off the bat, a farmer can't pay a vet for the outcome. We partnered with the Punjab Livestock and Dairy Development Department, the provincial government in Pakistan, to have all of the government vets in one district carry around a smartphone. And they were required every time they provided an AI service to record that service. The next day, we'd call every farmer, verify that service provision happened as it was recorded. 60 days later, they'd get a second call. Simple question, did your cow get pregnant? So we can then track if this same farmer shows up later after we treat them in the same system for another service provision. This is all the information that our app and calls were collecting. We're also gonna do a survey of a representative sample of households to have much more rich information for those households. So we did the baseline before we started any of our activities and then line concurrent with wrapping this up. When we compare our clearinghouse sample to our representative survey sample where we made sure there was no margins of selection, the average farmer AI success rate is the same. So here's the average treatment effect over time. Hovers between about five and 20 percentage points. If we take it to a regression and average across all of these months, this averages out to a 17 percentage point increase in the likelihood of livestock becoming pregnant. Farmers are essentially, this information gives them more bargaining power with these vets in this moral hazard framework and they're able to bargain sort of along two dimensions, price and effort. So this is really about veterinarians increasing their effort. Farmers aren't switching vets, yet they see improvements. Farmers that were given information on the rankings of their local government vets and then switch to private vets don't see better outcomes. We see that effects are largest for farmers who are essentially given worse news about their vet. Farmers treated with information on the ratings of their local veterinarians subsequently saw a 27% increase in the likelihood that their cows would get pregnant and were 33% more likely to come back to a government provider for AI. This comes out in expectation to about $32 in expected income for this household. And the cost to reaching each of these farmers is about $8. You can easily think about scaling this into really any sector in which people are able to measure something that one observation is not gonna be that helpful, but aggregating those observations can be helpful. In general, I think you can think of a lot of settings where this type of intervention would be helpful.